All right, thanks for joining me for this short video on how to use the new Dataverse global search tool available in Dynamics 365. So if you're used to the funnel that used to exist in the top right of your screen here, and it's now gone and been replaced by this new search bar, I want to walk you through how to use this tool. So a quick overview first, the Dataverse search is really your new go-to global search tool. So it's going to give you access to multiple tables by using a single keyword. So as you can see, I start typing here. It's going to give me suggestions as I'm typing, in this case, accounts, opportunities, and leads as I'm in the sales hub. And it's also going to give me some, some search results based on documents that might be stored in Dataverse. So for example, if I've got an attachment stored in an account, it's going to dig into those looking for uh, the right record results as well and it's also pretty smart so it's going to find matches for inflection words so something ending in ed or ing like run versus running as you can see I've got a couple of examples here so I've got a task there for showing product running on device uh, as well as leveraging AI to look for misspellings abbreviations uh, or and synonyms as well so uh, datum. So you can see I've got some demo data in here for datum and, and had I misspelled that it's still going to go in and make suggestions for potentially the correct records that I might be looking for there. So if I wanted to I could just simply select one of these and drill in, down into it or assign, share, or even email a link to any one of these records. But if I wanted to sign, find more uh, search capabilities or, or, or records that may be a part of this keyword that I'm typing in. I can simply hit enter and now I'm going to get a full list of results. So I've got a summary page with top results but I've also got that broken down by table type. And then over on the right side of my screen I've got different filters available to me. So within top results my filters are fairly limited but you'll see as I go table to table that my filter um, is going to change. So here I'm searching by maybe primary contact, whereas opportunities, I might even search by revenue or close date. So kind of nice to have. Uh, but the tables themselves, you are, you're, you're not limited by what this comes enabled with out of the box. So if you've got custom tables or maybe there are other tables that you use frequently that are not uh, enabled as part of the Dataverse search, an admin can go in and make updates there so that you can search on those other tables as well. Some other features that I wanted to show as a part of this, so I'm gonna come into my accounts here and I'm just looking at a normal view. Um, a couple of things that existed that you, you might be looking to, to figure out how can I do that now using the, the new tools that are available. Um, one of them, so I'm gonna hit the drop down here and come down to the bottom and you're gonna see manage and share views available. So a few different things that we can do with this. Number one, you can go in and you can hide specific views. Now, your end users can do this. This does not need to be done at an admin level, although the ability to, uh, to, to hide views does need to be enabled for the environment by an admin. So now as an end user, I can go in and hide different views. So it's by simply selecting on them, maybe I don't want to see inactive accounts or service accounts, for example, I could go in and I could just apply that. And then when I hit my drop down, I'm not going to see those views as available. But what I can also do in here, if I've got a view that I need the fetch XML for, I can go in and download that here with one click. Um, or I can update what I want my default view to be. So here coming into vendors, I can choose to hide it, set it as the default view, or download the fetch XML. So a nice filter or feature to have there. <clears throat> you can see filter views up top is going to give you a few more options, um, more enabling you to be able to do this in bulk. So I could highlight all of these. And now if I wanted to show them all, I could. Um, or I can go in, I've got some different... Um, filters here, it, depending on how many views you've got, this feature could be uh, very helpful as well. So here, if I wanted to come in and download the fetch XML or select to show it because it's currently hidden, I could do that from this view as well. And then there's creating views. So I'm going to close out of this one. And if I wanted to come in, I'm going to start from my active accounts and I'm going to edit these filters. So I've got this advanced filter query available to me. 
So if I wanted to come in and let's go ahead and add some additional filters here. So if I said um, we're going to say that the account number must contain data, uh, or actually we'll go with does not contain data. So it does not contain data here. Let's go ahead and apply that. <clears throat> And if we wanted to, we could add some additional columns as well. So right now we've got account name, phone, city, primary contact. I can go in and add some additional columns. And because we're looking at the account number, maybe we'll add that. Let's add the account rating as well. We'll go ahead and close. And then we can drag these around. Where do we want them within our view? Uh, maybe we'll move account rating up here as well. So once we apply this, we can now go in and save this as a new view. So you can see we've got our uh, new columns added. And by hitting our drop down here, I can then go in and choose to save this as a new personal view. So this is going to be available to me. And we'll go ahead and give this a name. So I'm going to say test view, give it a description if we'd like as well, and then save it. And now that shows up in my personal views. So that was a feature that we had available is the, you know, the option to go in and create personal views as well. So now we're going to see this available to us. Let me give us another refresh here. <clears throat> One more time. Okay, and now we're seeing our test view. So if I wanted to come into my test view, we're going to see that we've got our new columns added here as well as our filters where we're looking for accounts that don't have an account number added to them right now. And that concludes my video. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully this was helpful to you in navigating the new Dataverse Advanced Find tool.